Welcome to Scoop Canada. Today, we're diving into a critical issue that has Canadians up in arms. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is on the verge of doubling Canada's national debt since taking office. Under the Trudeau Liberals, our national debt has skyrocketed, and it shows no signs of slowing down. Canadian Taxpayers Federation Alberta Director Chris Sims has been vocal about this alarming trend. The Trudeau government's reckless spending is driving our country deeper into debt with little regard for the long-term consequences. Instead of prioritizing fiscal responsibility, Trudeau's liberals continue to burden future generations with insurmountable debt. The numbers don't lie. Our national debt is ballooning and taxpayers are left to pick up the tap. This is a clear indication of the Trudeau government's mismanagement and inability to handle Canada's finances. It's time for Canadians to demand better and hold the Trudeau Liberals accountable for their fiscal irresponsibility. A report by Rebel News says Canada's debt has now surpassed $1,234 billion and continues to rise by over $100 million every single day. Yes, you heard it right. Just nine years ago, in 2015, when our current Prime Minister Justin Trudeau took office, the national debt was approximately $612 billion. In Trudeau's tenure, he has managed to double Canada's national debt, leaving Canadians in a far worse situation than ever before. To showcase the disastrous spending of Trudeau's Liberal government, the Canadian Taxpayers Federation CTF rolled through the streets of Calgary with a national debt clock truck. The CTF is a federally incorporated, not-for-profit citizens group dedicated to lower taxes, less waste, and accountable government. Rebel News spoke with the CTF's Alberta director, Chris Sims, in front of their real-time debt clock truck in Calgary, which showcases the rapid growth of our nation's financial obligations. It's clear the reckless spending under Trudeau's administration is driving us deeper into debt every single day. How much more can Canadians take before we demand real fiscal responsibility? A recent graph highlights the staggering increase in Canada's national debt, showing that the Liberal government has doubled it, increasing by $600 billion in just nine years. This brings up a pressing question, how is this even possible? Under Trudeau's administration, the national debt has surged from approximately $612 billion in 2015 to over $1,234 billion today. In less than a decade, the Liberals have managed to double the debt, raising serious concerns about fiscal responsibility and the government spending priorities. The Canadian Taxpayers Federation CTF has been vocal about this issue, highlighting the reckless spending with their national debt clock truck touring cities like Calgary. This initiative visually underscores the rapid growth of our national debt, ticking up by over $100 million every single day. It's a stark reminder of the financial burden being placed on current and future generations of Canadians. How has the debt doubled in such a short period? The answer lies in the Trudeau government spending policies. From lavish corporate subsidies to unchecked government programs, the Liberals have consistently prioritized spending over saving. This approach has not only increased the debt, but also placed a significant strain on the average Canadian taxpayer. For instance, the government handed out $11 billion in corporate subsidies in 2022 alone, more than double what was spent in 2015. This kind of spending, while benefiting a select few, does little to address the broader economic challenges facing the country, Instead, it exacerbates the debt problem, leaving less room for essential services like healthcare and education. Moreover, the rising debt isn't just a number on a balance sheet. It has real-world implications. Higher debt levels mean higher interest payments, which in turn means less money available for critical public services. It also puts upward pressure on taxes, further squeezing already stretched household budgets. Before we move further, discover our exclusive collection of mugs, hoodies, and a variety of daily accessories designed for Canada Conservative Party supporters. Show your pride with our conservative-themed products at affordable prices. Enjoy free delivery across Canada. Chris Sims tweeted where she warned people about the national debt with the Canadian Taxpayers Federation's debt clock. Did you know that Canada's national debt is rising by $1,000 per second? Yes, you heard that right. This year the Trudeau government will have doubled the national debt in less than 10 years. The Canadian Taxpayers Federation has been vocal about this issue, highlighting the alarming growth of our national debt with their debt clock touring cities like Lethbridge. It's a visual reminder of the financial irresponsibility of the Trudeau government. The government handed out $11 billion in corporate subsidies in 2022 alone, more than double what was spent in 2015. This kind of spending benefits a select few while leaving less room for essential services like healthcare and education. 
Higher debt levels mean higher interest payments, which means less money for critical public services and more pressure on taxpayers. Chris Sims, the CTF's Alberta director, has been outspoken about the need for the government to prioritize spending cuts over tax hikes. Canadians are fed up with the government's fiscal irresponsibility and want to see their tax dollars spent wisely, not squandered on programs that do little to improve their quality of life. A recent tweet highlighted a mind-boggling fact. Canada's national debt under Trudeau is approaching $3 trillion. To put this into perspective, if Jesus Christ had been alive and spent $1 million per day from the day he was born until today, he still wouldn't have spent, he still wouldn't have spent half of what Trudeau has. Yes, you heard that right. This comparison shows the absurdity of the Trudeau government's spending. Since taking office, the Liberals have been on an out-of-control spending spree. Just last year, they handed out $11 billion in corporate subsidies alone. Meanwhile, the national debt is increasing at a staggering rate of $1,000 per second. Back in May 2024, Garnett Genuous voiced the frustrations of many Canadians after nine years of NDP Liberal governance. Spending is wildly out of control, and it's the ordinary citizens who are bearing the brunt. The national debt has more than doubled under Trudeau's leadership, leaving us in a dire financial situation. I, I think it is pretty rich for Liberals after eight years in power to, to always want to draw our our attention to things that happened in decades past. Uh, the fact of the matter is, is that since 2015, the national debt has more than doubled. More than half of our national debt is the responsibility of this prime minister. And that's, that's why we are now spending more on debt servicing than we transfer for health care. To put it in perspective, we're now paying more in interest to service the debt than we are transferring to provinces and territories for health care. Yes, you heard that right. While our healthcare system struggles, Trudeau's financial mismanagement has us funneling billions just to keep up with interest payments on the massive debt he's accrued. Imagine that more money going to service debt interest than to our healthcare system, which is already stretched thin. It's an absurd situation, and it highlights the government's misplaced priorities. Enough is enough. The budget won't balance itself, and only conservatives will cut wasteful spending and restore a stable economy. It's time for a change before Trudeau's economic policies sink us even further into debt. The financial path Canada is on under Justin Trudeau's leadership is unsustainable. With the national debt skyrocketing and spending out of control, ordinary Canadians are left to bear the burden. The absurdity of the situation is clear when we consider the staggering amount of debt accumulated in just under a decade. While critical services like healthcare are starved for funds, billions are being wasted on interest payments and corporate subsidies. It's a stark reminder that fiscal responsibility must be a priority if we want to ensure a stable future for our country. The numbers don't lie. Trudeau's economic policies have placed Canada in a precarious position. The time has come for Canadians to demand accountability and change. Only with a government that prioritizes responsible spending and economic stability can we hope to reverse this dangerous trend. It's time to stand up, speak out, and make our voices heard before it's too late. Also, take a minute to visit our website, sign the petition demanding Justin Trudeau leave the office immediately, and sign up for our newsletters to get uncensored news in Canadian politics. And do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more updates. Stay tuned to Scoop Canada for more insights and updates on how Trudeau's government continues to let Canadians down. It's time to demand better from our leaders. It's time to put Canadian interests first.